All right, guys, mission accomplished. All the bags were handed out. Um, good vibes all around. Mm -hmm. But guys, came home and something was prepared. Mabu High Squad. Check this out. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Bone soup for Cypher. See that? A huge, huge beef bone was boiled and Cypher is gonna drink from this. Lots of good nutrients in there. Awesome. And he actually loves bone broth. With rice. With rice. <laughs> Yeah, it's very good. And actually, this was recommended to us by Tita Sonia from Sonia's Garden. Good morning, Mabu High Squad. How are you all doing? Did you sleep well? I know I did. Just ran a 15K in the morning, in the rain again. And here is little Cypher. He's been chewing on some snacks and full of energy. Right, Cypher? <laughs> so good. Our little Cypher. On the road to recovery. He also... He loves banana. Yeah, he like, loves banana. Like her Adel his Adeligaya, see? Yeah. I like banana. So we took him to the vet yesterday. He had another round of shots to help with his bone healing of his hip. And the vet said that he gained weight. So good. His appetite is back because he was kind of like going off feed sort of. I think it was because of the parasite. And he's more alert, she says, and slowly recovering. Good improvement. Eh. What? Happy anniversary! Yay. Eight years. How do you feel about that? Mm. <laughs> Grateful. Grateful, yeah. It's been a long eight years. All right, guys, let's do our positive affirmation for Monday, December the 21st. With the universe as my partner, I go from success to success. OMG, wow. With the universe as my partner, I go from success to success. There you go, guys. It's all about partnerships today and how life is the perfect partner. And I can't ignore how psychic this is. It's our anniversary. What's going on? Yay, yeah, hey, RJ just told me we have a special dinner prepared. I'm excited. Be, what is some love advice that you can give to those who would like to reach eight years? Mm -hmm. I'll always compromise with your partner. <laughs> That's the way you do it. Here, here. I agree. Always compromise with your partner. Like Mikey wants eight dogs, so we have to compromise. Compromise. I said four, so we meet in between. Which is four. I. That's not <laughs> meeting in between. <laughs> eight. You want. You wanted eight, right? Well, we'll see. No number. <laughs> Initially, I was like, okay, maybe five, but yeah, no number. We'll see. I mean, we have all the time in the world, really. Only three brothers. Cypher, right? Cypher definitely a needs a brother Three siblings, or a sister. I mean. Cypher, someone who could play with you like a dog. This poor dog thinks he's a human being. I'm just kidding. No, he plays with his brother, Pepper. How's he feeling today? I think he's, he's feeling better today. Yeah, he's relaxed. You're relaxed, Cypher? Can I kiss you? Mm. Guys, this is our child. I miss the guys. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> How about you guys? Any of you in any um, long-term relationships? What is your best love advice goal for those who might be starting off or might be new to relationships? I don't know. Love advice. Leave it in the comments. You know, like navigating the romance field was very interesting for me personally, like growing up as a bisexual person. One thing that like my gay friends used to tell me was that dating in the gay world is hard because because, well, this is just maybe one school of thought in that the entire gay world, it like markets to, you know, the whole sex thing and like it's a very sexual world and, you know, multiple partners and all this. It's It caters to a lifestyle of multiple partners. And, you know, I kind of was like, okay, I, I kind of get it. I see it. But as I became more experienced, I realized that no, there are a lot of like, like gay men, bisexual men, who are looking for like, you know, monogamous long-term relationships. Um, and that it's not all about just like swinging from partner to partner. I don't think it has anything to do actually with orientation because even straight people might swing from partner to partner. You know what I mean? Like the straight mainstream nightclub scene 
it's all about hooking up. So it's like kind of the same, really. So yeah, my relationship with RJ feels like any ordinary relationship. It certainly feels like any relationship I had with a female. Just very casual and nothing like weird or gross about it. It's been an interesting ride, this whole romance area of life. How about you guys? Did you find it confusing to navigate? Eventually when you find the right one, it feels supernatural and just great. I'm also grateful to be part of the generation that dated outside of social media. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like RJ and I met because we were neighbors um, and, and I'm grateful for that too um, because I can't even imagine what it would have been like had I been in my early 20s and had all of this social media now. That would have just been a whole different world, I think. <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful to, to be part of the old fashioned, like meeting in person, that was, that's something I'm grateful for. And you wanna hear something cool? Like, okay, so RJ and I's anniversary was today, right? Eight years ago, which was December 21st, 2012. Um, and I don't know if you guys remember, but back then there was all of this hype about it being the end of the world. Yeah, it was kind of like a Y2K thing where everyone said, it's the end of the Mayan calendar. There's gonna be an apocalypse. It's gonna be the end of humanity and all we know. Um, so I was like, okay, if that's gonna happen, I might as well go down with a cute boy. So. That's when we had dinner and we stayed together ever since. And strangely enough, this year, today, the planets Saturn and Jupiter are apparently coming into alignment, causing this bright star in the sky, which hasn't happened since apparently like the middle ages. So wow, it's like kind of like a double omen today, which is so interesting. Talk about signs from the universe. Oh universe, are you trying to throw signs? <laughs> But we also gotta say that we feel grateful that you guys embrace us and still are okay with the fact that RJ and I are a same-sex relationship. Um, because there's a lot of people in the world that aren't okay with it. Um, and some Abu High Squad are not okay with it, but they still want support us and watch our vlogs and kind of like, sort of like overlook that part of our lives. Um, and I respect that a lot. And I appreciate that a lot. You know what I mean? When people are willing to bend their own personal morals, I guess, um, and values because they, I don't know, they see other things that are in RJ and I that they do agree with. So thank you for respecting and I respect you as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, we feel so blessed. RJ, what is this? Bought clothes Oops. for tonight for our dinner. Mm -hmm. You can Ooh. choose which one you're going to wear. Oh, nice. I think this one is more me. And the dark one is more you. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that one's nice too. Oh, there's more. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're all nice. Um, okay, let me think of one for you. What would you... Personally, I think you would look good in that. Oh, yeah. Or possibly really, really hunky in this. We have to fit first. Okay, let's and, try. And find out. Guys, so RJ sent Ate Elsie, our helper, to go buy these clothes at the store. So, 
it really does seem like RJ has something planned for tonight. And hmm, I'm interested to see what the dinner will be like. 